Tonight, we report on the police standoff in Wilson Creek and a company in Moses Lake hoping to expand their production of honey. What's happening in sports, Bob? Thanks, Alan. The Big Ben Lady Vikings roll past Northwest Indian College. Moses Lake Boys Basketball picks up a first round win at the Capitol Classic in Juneau. Let's take a peek at our Weather Center forecast to see how low the mercury will dip in the Columbia Basin tonight. Good to be with you, everybody. Pretty quiet conditions across the immediate area overnight. I'll let you know in just a few moments how the scenario will pan out for your New Year's Eve celebrations. I'm Alan Troop, and we have all this and much more on iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News, your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A four hour standoff in Wilson Creek on Christmas ended when 79-year-old Philip Pearson Sr. surrendered. Soap Lake police responded to a report that Pearson took his 77-year-old ex-wife out of McKay Healthcare and Rehabilitation Facility in Soap Lake against medical advice and without approval. According to the Grant County Sheriff's Office, police learned Pearson was reportedly holding his ex-wife in his Wilson Creek home in the 200 block of 4th Street. The Moses Lake Tactical Response Team entered the residence after negotiations failed and the suspect was arrested. The woman was taken to a hospital for evaluation. One Grant County elected official got an early start and was sworn in before Christmas. Reporter Cameron Probert has the story. Grant County's new prosecutor was sworn in last week. Garth Dano, who has been a civil and defense attorney for more than 30 years, won his bid for the prosecutor's position in November, beating out incumbent prosecutor Angus Lee. The county's three superior court judges presided over administering the oath of office to the new prosecutor. Judge Evan Sperline urged people to have patience with the new prosecutor as he transitions from his work as an advocate for clients to working for the public, the police, and the victims of crimes. So always, the prosecutor is called upon to balance the interests of these three clients, which often are at cross purposes with each other. It is demanding work, insisting on skill, <coughs> diplomacy, courage, and restraint. Dano thanked the crowd who had attended the ceremony, including several family members and police officials. And I think in our job, the primary job that we have for the on the criminal justice system is to try to do our very best as prosecutors to keep the public safe and the public safety is paramount to what we're trying to accomplish. For High Fiber One News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. The Moses Lake City Council rejected increasing the ambulance utility fee to $15. The council voted six to one against the increase during its last meeting. Council member Jason Navilla initially made the suggestion to increase the fee as the council continues to discuss what to do with the city's ambulance service. The ambulance service cost the city roughly $244,000 more than it received in revenue last year. City officials expect the amount to climb next year. Two citizens asked the city council to reject the increase and form a committee to examine what can be done to support the ambulance service. Council member David Cornell, the lone supporter of the increase, disagreed with the idea that the council was rushing to make a decision and said he supported forming a committee, but the city's financial situation wasn't made better by waiting. Soap Lake City Council members approved a new 2015 budget, which removed a $30,000 cut. A new budget was approved at a special city council meeting on Friday afternoon. Mayor Raymond Gravel called for the meeting after vetoing the previous budget because of a cut to the city's parks and recreation budget. He said the change would have meant laying off an employee. Council member John Glasgow, who initially approved the change, said it was necessary to avoid raising fees to pay for the position. 
Gravel pointed out the city is in the middle of studying what role the positions serve in the city. The new budget, including the $30,000, was approved by a 5-2 to two vote with Glasgow and Councilmember Robert Brown voting against the budget. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. And we'll be back right after this.